ตะยิงดอลบาร์ทวานกะจิลลากะลากันตะยะกะเมกาลียาโลกยุคตาแมนเมนบิลอาราจาร์อาตุซาวกะบลาวันราดูเอ็มเอลเอกะวีพีพี
option of a single member body of just the chairperson alone and without the mandatory appointment of judicial members in what is a statutory a judicial body. The Amendment Act of 2021 has practically weakened the role of the Lokayuta in the state. The present Meikhalia Lokayuta Act has been robbed of the essential provision which flowed from the Lokpal and Lokayuta's Act of Parliament and mirror, and mirror not just the objective but the provision as well. So the private members bill that I seek leave to introduce today intends to fulfill the following purpose. One, to protect and strengthen the institution of Lokayukta in the state so as to effectively deal with rising cases of corruption by public functionaries. Number two, to re-enact the essential provisions of the Lokpal and Lokayukta Act that were deleted and substituted by the Amendment Act of 2021. Number three, in short, to amend the existing Meikhalia Lokayukta Act for giving it more teeth and more effectiveness that is deserved. And therefore, Mr. Speaker, sir, I seek leave to introduce my private member's bill, namely the Meikalia Lokayota Amendment Bill 2024, copies of which I understand have been circulated to member in advance. What the people of the state are expecting from this August House today is a voice in support of Lokayota and a voice against the virus of corruption. Mr. Speaker, sir, with these few words, I will resume my seat. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Now let me put the question before the House. The question is that leave be granted to introduce the bill, the Meghalaya Lokayuta Amendment Bill 2024. <clears throat> Those who are in favor say aye. Aye. Those who are against say no. no. The no's have it, the no's have it. The motion is not carried. And leave to introduce the bill is not granted. The bill is therefore rejected by the House. Citizen first is our motto. We believe that our citizens need to be connected with government for faster and efficient service delivery. I am happy to announce that we are coming up with a dedicated CN Helpline call center.